I went from lost, broke and unfulfilled to running a six figure business, building an audience of over half a million people across platforms and having a mission that lights me on fire. I put a lot of it down to my daily routine that took months of trial and error to perfect. So in this video, I'm going to break down the three parts of my routine, what's involved in each part and why it helped change my life forever. For any of the routine to make sense, you first need to understand the purpose behind the routine. After all, when you think about it, a routine isn't anything special. A routine is simply just a series of habits designed to obtain a certain outcome. If you don't know what the outcome is you want to achieve with a routine, that routine is useless and in fact, instead of streamlining your day, it'll slow you down and hold you back. So the purpose of my daily routine has two facets. One, achieve my goals. I wanted the routine to help improve my ability to do what I knew I needed to do to achieve the goals that I had set for myself. 2. Pursue what I value If you've watched any of my other videos this will be obvious but three of my primary personal values are mastery, meaning and curiosity. I wanted to use my routine to maximize those three things in my day. Regardless of what routine you're building whether it's a morning routine or a daily routine if you want your routine to be effective you need to understand what the goal of that routine is. The first part of my daily routine is what I call build. This is where I do all my cognitive important work for the day. Whether it's creating content, building out a new project or whatever else I have to do. This is typically between 5am and 12pm and starts with me doing my hardest, most important task first and then working through my tasks in order of priority. Now the reason I start my day with my hardest and most important task is because willpower and focus are both finite and limited. As you go through your day, doing work, having conversations, making decisions, they both get used up. And with your hardest task being your hardest task, it requires the most amount of willpower and focus to complete to a high standard. I found that if I put it off to later in the day, I would struggle to complete it to a standard that I was happy with, that I was proud of, and the longer I left it, the less likely I was to actually do it. But when you do that task first, when your willpower and focus are at their peak, you'll find it easier to complete and easier to do to a high standard. This also lets you build momentum as soon as you wake up, letting you carry momentum through your day and do what you know you need to do with ease. In this first part I typically work in 90 minute blocks taking 20 to 30 minute breaks between each block to make a coffee, go on a walk or do whatever I want to do. These blocks are highly focused and distraction free with no phone or people around me so that I can enter flow and do my best work in the most efficient and effective way. By 10am I've got all my most important tasks done and depending on what I need to do that day I will either work on menial tasks or on building a project that I'm working on. The best thing about this part of the routine is the amount of goal outcomes it helps me achieve. It helps me push towards my goals as obviously I'm doing the work that I need to do to achieve those goals but it also helps me pursue mastery of my craft by again doing the work and practicing and it helps me pursue meaning since I'm working on goals and projects that are inherently meaning to me creating meaning in the work and therefore meaning in my life. Once it hits 12 p.m I make some food relax and then make an Instagram and LinkedIn post my build part of the day is done. The main reason I made this part of my routine is because a massive mistake most people make and this used to be me is that they don't dedicate a specific part of their day to doing the work that will move them toward their goals. They know they have certain tasks to do but instead of dedicating a part of their day solely to completing them so that they can maximize their chances of completing them consistently day after day, they decide on the day to try and find time for that work which normally results in procrastination and low quality work. So if you want to get the work you know you need to do done consistently and to a high quality, you need to dedicate a part of your day, preferably as early as possible in the day, to building and working on your goals. Part 2. Sweat Come 2pm I take Rocky on a walk. He's a pup so I'm still training him how to walk properly on the lead so that's all fun and games. But this gets me some quality time outside and gets my steps in. After the walk it's around 3pm and I hit the gym. Now I'm fortunate enough to have a garage gym and can train when I want with zero distractions and can blast my music as loud as I want. This is such a foundational part of my day and honestly it should be a foundational part of every single person's daily routine. If you're not training and pushing your body to its limits making it sweat every single day you're limiting your potential in every area of your life. Not only are you limiting your health but you're leaving confidence, respect and energy on the damn table. You cannot excel as much as you possibly could be in any and every area if you're not pursuing physical excellence. When you train you build your body and you build your mind. You increase your discipline, your ability to do hard things, your ability to enter flow and focus and get shit done. Training, 
sweating and challenging your body needs to be a part of your routine if you're at all concerned with becoming all you could be. But I would say this, I would be mindful of how you implement this into your day. When I first started trying to build a daily routine, I experimented with having this part first, you know, training first in the morning, starting the day on a massive win, a great way to start the day 100% and there's not necessarily anything wrong with it. But I found, especially with the training modality that I follow where I train to failure in every set, that after my workout, I really struggled to do my hardest task. It would take me a few hours to fully recover from the session, especially after a leg session. And so those few hours were wasted or if I forced myself to do the work, the work would be done at a quality lower than my best and I wouldn't be happy with it. So by building first and sweating second, I use my training to signal the end of my workday. I wake up, I build and work with my mental capacities at their max. And then once all my work is done, I train. Now, one of the aspects of my value of mastery is self-mastery. If you're not mastering yourself, you're not living life fully. And to master yourself, you need to be training. You need to be training hard. That is the primary goal outcome of this second block to help pursue self-mastery and personal excellence. I'm a firm believer that how you do one thing is how you do everything. So no matter how much money you make or how good your relationships are, if you're not working out, you're less than your best and leaving potential untapped. Now, I typically finish training around half four or 5 p.m. depending on the session and when I start. After I finish, I will make food, check my DMs, comments and emails, and then start part three. And again, with training, if you don't have a specific portion of your day dedicated to working out, and on the day try to find time to do it, you're not going to do it or at least you're much less likely to do it because the thing about training and working on your goals is that both of these things are rather hard. They're damn hard. They're not fucking easy, okay? So you will do everything and look for every excuse to put them off and skip them today unless you have a part of your day every day which is entirely and solely dedicated to doing that thing. Whether it's one hour or whether it's seven hours, if there is something in your day that you value highly and you want to guarantee that you get it done you need to make a portion of your daily routine dedicated to it part three learn now the first two parts of my day are strict disciplined and highly thought through in terms of what i do and when i do it first i'm building working toward my goals and doing the work that i need to do so that i'm using my cognitive abilities when they're at their best at their max second i'm sweating challenging my body pushing my mind to pursue self-mastery and physical excellence to signal the end of my workday and so that I don't negatively impact my cognitive work. But part three is a lot more laid back and easy going. From around 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. I will learn. And when I say learn, I will just follow my curiosities. Sometimes this is orchestrated and strategic depending on my current goals and if there's something specific I need to learn to achieve them. But otherwise, this is just following anything that grabs me or anything I'm interested in. Typically, this involves me watching YouTube videos, taking courses, listening to podcasts or reading a book. And again, this part of my day is absolutely essential and it's another mistake I see a lot of people make. They don't dedicate specific time to learning and so they never learn. Because think about it, your ability to move towards your goals and become the person you want to become is limited by your knowledge. If you know what to do to achieve your goals, you can achieve them with the right amount of intensity and time. But if you don't know what to do to achieve your goals, you're running blindly and you will never get there. So your ability to prioritize learning and pursuing knowledge every single day is crucial. Now, most people fall into two camps. One, they take action, but never learn from other people or from their own actions. Hence, if they're never learning from anything or anyone, it doesn't matter how much action they take, they won't improve. Now, you can and should learn from your own experiences, but that learning won't happen mindlessly. You still have to dedicate specific time to looking at your experience and trying to find the lessons in that experience and the mistakes that you've made and to actually learn from those mistakes. Learning, especially from your own experiences, doesn't happen by accident. Two, they learn loads but never take action. A lot of people spend hours every day reading books, watching YouTube videos, taking courses and all the rest, but they never enter the damn arena and put into practice what they're learning. And learning is great, obviously, but progress can only be gotten through the creation of value and value can only be created through action. So if you never put into practice what you learn, if you never enter the arena, you will never improve. A lot of progress and achieving your goals comes down to finding this balance. It comes down to your ability to prioritize both learning and taking action so that you can improve your knowledge and therefore your ability to take more informed action, but also that you can take the damn action and stop avoiding the work. And that is why I love this routine so much. 
I start my day with action, with building something that is meaningful to me. I then challenge my body and sweat, pumping my blood with endorphins, and then I follow my curiosities, learning and improving my knowledge. It's a constant cycle of progress and improvement in each area of my life that allows me to achieve my goals and pursue mastery, meaning, and curiosity. My friend, as always, thank you for watching. That is it for this video. Let me know in the comments below if you have a daily routine similar to this and what it looks like. I'm always interested in learning about people's routines. That is it for this video though. Make sure you check out this video here on how I actually stick to this routine and stick to my schedules. Click that subscribe button and I will see you in the next one.